Right, these are two shop wider called Dovers. This one has already had the steering done, chain driven. This one hasn't. The idea is to make the steering back and get rid of all this here for smaller steering. And this is that one's this has been altered at the back and a bit welded on this hasn't. So what you do is you take off the bit that holds the seat on, get rid of that, cut this down a bit, take Cut the, uh, if you can't unscrew them, cut the bits that the lights go on, get rid of them. Because there's only 8mm bolts through on the swinging arm, I've drilled them through with a 10mm drill, put stainless steel bolts through there to make them stronger. Now, I've welded this up, this is inch by half inch tubing. I've welded this up, it's 18 inches square. And this is going to be welded on here, like that, like this one, and I'll put some supports on the front, so it's level with the front of the batteries where they go in. Okay, and the idea I'm using flat tubing and not square is to keep, try and keep it down a bit so it's not too high up. Now I'm going to take this swinging arm off in a minute, line all this up. It's got to be packed out so it's parallel with this, so she'll have it dipping. And then um, I'll carry on. <coughs> right, I've took the back end off, the swinging arm off, and now I need to sand the pieces that I'm going to, where I'm going to weld it together. Even though this comes off, this bit, there's no point. In leaving it so it comes off this is a bit of plastic in here which I need to put a little bit of metal in there when I weld it so there's no nothing burning that's about it really so I need to set it up and weld it right I've welded this 18 inch frame round here now these bits of metal here they're two and three eighths inches long and I've, I've, I've leveled this off here and well, this stays on there. And what I need to do now is to put the battery's control box and that on it and take it for a spin. I've had to move into the workshop now because the rain and weather, um, and obviously I can't work out there in that, um, I need to take the front now off of this mobility scooter. I've welded the frame on the black back like I was showing you um, and I've also put a piece of wood on it and took it out for a spin. So now the back end's okay and it's all, I've took it for a ride, it's all working, steering and everything. I need to get the contraption off the front, that big bit, so that it can be turned into a serious easier bit of steering. Likes on these ones. I've not put a steering wheel on there or anything or foot controls because what will happen as soon as you go through the, a walking precinct or anything, you'll probably have someone like the police or traffic warden or someone give you rubbish about what you're doing driving through there. Whereas all these cars are, are mobility scooters. I've just changed the appearance. So they're all exactly the same as they were, it's only the appearance that's changed. Whether you want to put round mud guards on the front, um, whether you want to use these kitchen sinks um, for a front, or whether you want a complete wooden body, I can explain that later on. But I need to get on and show you how to chain drive the steering to bring the front of the steering back so you can put a bonnet on it. And also... The, because I'm not sure what I'm doing with this, one because I've had um, ideas of making a pickup truck, a long one, a bus, all sorts of ideas. So you're not restricted at all to the length or anything of this. Um, like, for example, this French-looking one I've made that's a limo. You can drive this with four children 
any age behind because these mobility scooters are designed to carry 35 stone and that obviously includes driving uphill then it's not a problem pulling anything on a reasonable surface that's not got too much too steep or anything it will you'd be impressed on what they will pull without getting hot as you can see this is to give you some kind of idea what um you're trying to do the front bars on this chain drive where the welding distorts things slightly i've put bolts through the front as you can see so you can adjust to make sure your chain is reasonably tight and so that the steering's not got any play in it at all and the pieces we're going to weld on are the pieces of metal that come from the arms of of one of the seats from a mobility scooter the curved bits that i found very useful to use when you're making something like this right now these big cumbersome front bits of steering can be changed because you can cut this plastic and you can melt it together though you're welding it with a hot soldering iron electric one do it while you're sitting watching the telly or whatever these bits here you can cut this across here on the angle like the other one then cut a piece of plastic off of the sides of one of these the right size and then once you've cut it, you can hold it and spot it each here and there with the solder on. Then you can melt it both sides. You can put strips inside to strengthen it and brace the corners of it. Right, I'll show you that later. Right, I've took the front handlebar section off of it. Now this, you could... If you were skilled enough, you could cut that there, cut that round, and then you could get a bicycle sprocket, set it as long as it was perfectly in the middle, and you could weld that like that to put a sprocket. But I've not done that. I've got an 18 teeth, 18 teeth I found the best. I went smaller, but the steering is better with 18. I've made up a piece like this with that in the middle that will go in there and drill to do the chain steering there or as i say you could cut that and get away with that if you were skilled enough right this is the front piece of steering cut out of another scooter this piece and i've cut off and sanded off all the pieces that are holding it i don't think this is off of a cordoba but they're all very similar now i've welded a sprocket in the center on that one because if you don't get it in the center obviously as you turn your wheel you're going to have your chain go loose tight loose tight and it won't work so really the next job then is to get this i'm using about 22 lengths of chain to set that up so that it can be done there i'm using about 22 because time you put your steering on here it's going to come forward so you don't want to go too tight this way else you won't be able to get your windscreen and you need a bit of length really if you're going to do a similar thing that i've done or even if you're going to make it into a jeep Right, this is the cogs that I just showed you just now. I've not drilled this through here because there's no point yet. I've clamped a piece, two pieces of four and three quarter inch metal through here just to hold to get your cogs parallel. And also this is a 22 link chain. Obviously you could shorten it, but I'm not welding any of these. These are the armrests curve bits that come off the side of the seats on a mobility scooter i've welded them up a bit because later on they can be cut and welded to hold this up and then i can put bolts through the front as well to, so the chain can be adjusted so you can get the chain right right that's that now 
the thing is, if you're making a car, you're not restricted at all to what I've done with sinks and things like on these other cars. What you can do, if you wanted a wide car for a couple of your grandchildren to drive, nothing stops you putting wide ply here and then moving this over this way and making the steering one side so that you could make quite a wide car for two kids to sit into and drive it. Okay, right. If you're going to have running boards, then you need to weld something on here first because what I do is I do all the welding and the metal work, then we go over to the woodwork. Now, obviously this chain, it doesn't matter what length, but if you're putting a windscreen on here, once you've got your steering, you've got to make sure your handlebars and things or whatever you're using don't hit the screen. Secondly, the reason I'm only using these mobility scooter bits, as soon as you go down in a pedestrian walking street with steering wheels, foot controls, someone's going to pull you up and say what you're doing. Whereas at the moment, all these are, are mobility scooters, but they're disguised so they look like a car. So really, that's that. So I'm not going to do much more yet um, but you can see what I'm playing at so really now if I do sort out the steering on the top and get that set up whatever I'm going to use on there and then we can go a bit further I've got a pair of antibodies around here somewhere I have to find them right okay these are the kind of antibodies that I'm going to incorporate on there somewhere but as it looks maybe that they might be too far forward, uh, too far back rather. So what I'm, I'm not welding anything yet till I've checked that out in case I need to shorten the chain to pull it forward a bit. Right, this is the front of the Cordova. Big cumbersome thing. We're going to put the antibars under there and chop off this off. Um, I'll just show you how to do that, and then uh, that will give you another bit of inspiration. Man. Right, I've took all that to pieces. Right, this bit where the brake goes on, no needed, none of that anymore. That's screw Right, took the handle thing off there. We're going to fit the brake on there. So that goes on there. Right, this is the bit that wants cutting off here, and this needs... Cutting a slot and welding up there on the right angle so that once I've cut this it fits on the right angle and we can see how far back it needs to be. Right, this can be dumped now and we don't need this for the brake because the brake's going to go on the antibars um, like I've fitted the other ones. Right, I've cut this up, chopped this contraption up. Okay, that bit's rubbish. Right, I've welded a bit on here. Chop these off. Okay, and this is going to go under there. Okay. And then I'm going to melt two bits of plastic on the ends here and spray them brown. Um, that's that. Because these antibars are not working out exactly how I want, I'm going to V them and, and straighten them out a bit because they're leaning back too far, really. Right, well, I've cut and V'd the antibars now and straightened them because uh, it would be better for these kids when they're trying to drive and turn. Um, and the chain seems about the right length now, but they're two inches too high, really. The antibar, so I need to cut the antibar part underneath the stem and take two inches out of it, and then I'll be getting there. It's strange how I'm having more trouble with this than anyone I have ever have built before, but maybe that's just because um, I'm trying to show people how to do it. Right, I took the back swinging arm off and the motor out and stripped it down a bit to do the welding on the steering because really you need to be able to tip it upside down all over the place and these things are heavy. What I need to do now is check that the chain and everything can do the last bit of welding on it to weld these bars on and then I can 
tighten up, make sure the chains tighten everything. Right, I've chopped up the front tiller plastic cover to get some bits to put on the sides of this um, bit that's going to do the steering. Um, and also, I've cut some strips off to strengthen it on the inside. I cut these off on a bandsaw. Um, and I can't see very good there. Um, to kind of strengthen the inside, the inside, if you cut some strips off, if you see what I mean, then you can sold it round. It looks a bit messy in there, but it won't show once it's all sanded up. So once this is sanded up now and, and cleaned off the edges, and then up, then what I'm going to do, then I'll spray these ends a kind of a dark brown with some paint I've got. I've melted these on with just an ordinary cheap soldering iron iron like this one here right this top brown it's more or less finished now obviously i'm going to chop these out here melt them on there spray that brown so that bit's more or less finished all this here this is all floating at the moment and because i feel a though shop rider this is a 2010 model it seems to be although they've tilted the steering back a little bit pre to compared with the older ones because um, I've got a longer chain on another one and it's shoving the anabars back too far. Um, another point to remember, I've not drilled any holes in here because if you're not careful, you don't want to end up with your steering straight and your wheels like this. You've got to line it up before you do the final holes in there. Right, now because this is seems to be back a bit far and I want to move it, what I'm going to do is take a couple of links out of the chain Take a couple of links out of the chain and move it forward. None of this is, none of this has been secured or anything yet. Because if you go and drill something, look, this is all wonky and lifts out. Okay. Now once, once I get that right, where I want it, then I'm going to sand some bits off of here. Get these curved bits of armrests. Okay, and chop them so they're going to go up here and weld on there to hold it all solid. And then I'm going to put a couple of bars through here with 10 mil bolts with a nut each side. So if where the welding distorts it and your chain won't be the same tension all the way around, you can alter that by tightening and loosening it to get it sorted. Okay, so that's the next job really. I need to shorten this chain. And then clamp another couple of slightly shorter bits of metal on there to hold it and check it. Because the trouble is, once you've welded all this up and it's all done, then you've got no chance of altering it really, without a lot of aggravation. Right, I've finished doing all the welding now on these front parts, so really it's a matter of stripping it down, uh, painting all the bits rather, and then putting it back together. It's worth knowing that some of these scooters, when you get them, these called Dovers, for some reason the steering on these, the uh, suspension rather, on some of the fronts of these, it kind of seizes up. It's a good idea to take them off and make sure you free them up because these were really stuck. I had to put thin oil on to get them off and um, to get them moving. So all I need basically now is to spray all these bits and then bolt it back together. Right, this is the finished item now, ready to go and give it a test run. As you can see, I've finished all the top and that, I need to put a bit of wood on it to sit on it, and then um, that's it. These two cars are exactly more or less the same, what's underneath them as the chassis that I've just shown you. I have welded four bits of wood on, uh, four bits of metal on the chassis outside in case I use put a running board on because you can put a running board on them if you want if I don't do that I'll cut them off these cars here now these are wider these have got no running boards but it's up to you what you do anyway I'll give you a few ideas soon also I do put a tow bar on these cars but it's not worth trying to do it yet because you don't really know how much you need it to stick out the back 
until you've put the body on.